In this short clip, I will show you how to trigger the output of an M73 via the hub. First of all, we have to add the camera with our robotics driver. In this case, I added manually to get it a little bit faster into the hub. Here, I set the credentials for the camera. In the next step, I use the robotics driver because I want to add it directly with our own driver. Click on next, put here the IP address of the camera. In this case, it's this one, and I want to use HTTPS. In the next step, the hub will find and try to find the right driver for this camera here. In this case, I, it's the right one, the Robotics MDVS series driver for the M73. In the next step, it will also collect some kind of information from the camera, which MAC address with firmware and which events are activated in the camera, because we can use the internal events in the camera itself. So in the next step, I have to enable the output here. For the M73, it makes sense to use only one because we only have one output directly in the M73. Click on next. I have to add it into one kind of group. In this case, it's the IoT camera. So I named the group here, the full group IoT. You can choose every name you want. Click on finish. And now here is the camera. And you can see here it's online and also the output should be available. In the next step, only for demonstration, I create here a new user-defined event, trigger it manually via soft button, for example, in the desk client, only to show you how it works and that it is working. Next step, I have to create a rule to trigger this one here. I name it M73 output test. Now I want to use an event because a user-defined event is an event I will trigger. Then I go to external, user-defined, and select the M73 output event. The next step, I don't want any time limitations here. And now I have to say, okay, what action should be done or triggered when this event occurs? In this case, I want to set the outputs here. Say, okay, immediately after this event is triggered, what kind of state should be activated. In this case, I want to activate this event or this output. And now which output should be triggered? In this case, it's my M73 series output. Click on OK. And now I can I have to say, OK, when should be this go off? In this case, I say, OK, it's not an event who switched this output off. I want to do it after some time, some kind of triggering. In this case, one second after this event occurs, this stop action should be started. And now I have to say, okay, what action should be done? Set the output to deactivate it, but the output should be activated for three seconds after this event is triggered. And that's all. So I have defined a rule to trigger the output manually. I also created some kind of internal uh, event that I wired the output into the input of the camera uh, and then the camera will show you a red frame only for demonstration so i put this camera here into a window and now i have the possibility to click on devices and add my user defined event here as a soft button and when i now click here on it the red frame appears. So the output is working and we can use it for alarming, activity sensor, MX message event or also external events.